Hello friends, I am Simpu from Motion Tutorials. Today in this video I will show you Magnets Media Animation Style in After Effect. So let's get started. So here you can see this is the website. Here you can generate AI image from this website. Here you can basically type prompt and uh, you can find your good image from here. I have already downloaded 4 images from this website. So let's import this image in Photoshop and let's scale this. And now let's select rectangle and uh, expand this image using generative fill. Generative fill is Photoshop new feature. So here you can select this area and here you can click on this generative fill option and generate image so basically generative fill give you three variation here you can see this is the first variation and second and third so you can select this third one this is very nice and now again select rectangle and uh, select this area and uh, generative fill and generate so here you can see this is the three variation of image so select this third one and uh, now select all three images and uh, right click on it and uh, merge layers so here this is the image let's delete background yeah it's fine so let's select this object selection tool and uh, i need this character on different layer so first select this character here you can select this selection to using this tool sometimes it's don't work so let's select this quick selection tool and uh, select whole character using this quick selection tool so let's little bit zoom and uh, press alt and here you can you can select selection in depth okay so it's good for me and now uh, let's select this layer mask so here you can right click on it and duplicate here you can rename this layer man and click on ok and hide this layer select first layer and right click on it and delete layer mask you can select rectangle and uh, remove this character from here so again generative fill and generate yeah it's remove so it's very nice yeah here you can see three option yeah first one is good so again select this first layer and second layer and uh, right click on it and uh, merge layers and again select this tool object selection tool and uh, click on this layer mask and let's select this rename this layer sky and uh, select here white and uh, go to the tool and here you can select brush tool and uh, increase this size and let's select mask and here you can here you can do just like me here you can fill this sky use this brush yeah it's nice overall look nice so last right click on it and duplicate this layer and uh, click on ok and again hide this second layer and uh, select this first layer and right click on it delete layer mask now i need just bottom background so here i use erase tool and uh, increase this erase brush and erase this whole sky yeah it's good and let's open this so let's import this photoshop file in after effect first save this fighter fighter 2 because i have already fighter 1 so fighter 2 and let's save 
and now go to the after effects and here you can double click on it and import your import your file fighter 2 and here you can import as composition retain layer sizes and click on import okay and drag into the timeline and double click on it so here you can see three layer man sky and uh, again sky so here you can rename this bottom layer ground now let's import some footages so here i have already downloaded you can see so let's import this all footages in after effect so let's import and here footages let's import this and first here you can see this is the first footage you can rename this lightning and uh, let's in let's drag at the bottom and here you can hide this sky so you can see this is this video size is too big so you can scale down press s and scale little bit yeah it's good now on this sky layer and here you can here you can use mask double click on this layer and here you can see mask applied so just drag this mask shape at the bottom and now select this sky and press F for feather and here you can increase feather yeah it's nice again you can a little bit down yeah, it's good to me so now let's select this lightning footage and here you can go to the effect and preset and here you can type hue saturation and drag this effect and presets on this lightning footage so let's master saturation you can decrease this level and uh, here you can see this is the color change and it's merged with this sky and you can select this sky layer and uh, little bit down yeah it's look good so now now let's import other footages just like uh, atmosphere and fire sparkle so let's import both on the timeline and let's see and here the sparkle you can scale down little bit yeah and now let's uh, change this mode to screen and as well as smoke here you can select and uh, select mode and here you can change this mode to screen yeah and select this smoke layer smoke footage and press T for opacity and uh, you can put the value uh, 55 and let's see how it's look and play you can see and uh, it's it's overall very nice effect yeah it's very awesome uh, here you can just one thing you can add text here let's uh, type fighter fighter and let's uh, little bit scale down and uh, change text name here you can select geo black and increase this text size and let's align this text and now text effect on it 
so here go to the effect and presets and uh, type glitch glitch text decoder apply on this layer go to the effect control and here click on this checkbox button uncheck this click on this character here you can put the value 0 and now select this layer fighter layer and press u so you can see these keyframes and now let's play this animation is its glitch text animation so it's look nice so you can change this color if you want so here i just show you how to change so let's apply on glow so here you can type glow and uh, drag this effect on it and uh, now let's change this color you can change this color both color should be different now let's uh, change this property value here you can glow radius increase this glow radius glow intensity and change this glow based on alpha channel so here you can see this color effect and increase this value more yeah it's look nice and now yeah now let's play now let's play this animation you can just drag this text at the bottom overlap this character so drag this text layer at the bottom here and let's see and you can do one thing select this man and scale little bit yeah it's nice to see and again drag this text layer at the top yeah it's good to me now let's play this final result i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so please like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video bye bye see you next time